What's up, yo? Welcome back to the channel. You don't uh, understand what you're saying. I don't have it in fashion properly, but we promised you grills. Yeah. Uh, Here they are. We got grills. But, yeah. They're not, like, you know, legit or anything. They're just little, yeah, like... I didn't get the... They gotta get, like, you know, first in, but... They have to, like, you know. be, like, molded to your teeth. I, just, I decided to go with the blue for, for Walt's... You know. And I just have the classic outlined, uh, <laughs> yeah, little jobby thing. I thought blue would be perfect yeah. since his meth is blue. So for sure. So yeah. Um. Anyways, what's up, guys? <sighs> Breaking Bad, season two, episode six. Mm-hmm. I almost forgot there for a second. Happy New Year, by the way. It is a brand new year, 2019. I think it's gonna be a big one. I hope everyone had a great and safe New Year's. Oh man! And here we are, the back new to year's work. Eve party, yep. yep. Already back to work. Who's hungover? Not us. <laughs> no. Old parents. Yeah, we chilled. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed the parties from our living room and watched it on TV. Countdown at great. 9 p.m. Yes, <laughs> it was wonderful. Um, but here we are, back on the grind, back doing some reactions, and we're kicking it off with Breaking Bad. So here we go. You know, we're coming off another tough episode. Yeah. Like it's getting it's getting really tense. It's getting it's just it's starting to build. You could feel it just climbing and climbing yes. and climbing, you know. Yes. Like Jesse created his little little drug selling posse trying to build this empire, trying to be the new Tuco and you know, Walt's like, eh, okay, I mean... You want to do this, but you have to take care of business if right. something happens. And something happened. Skinny Pete got robbed. And, you know, Jesse's just like, oh, it's cool. Pete's cool. You know, it's just breakage. No big deal. No, you know, it's all right. I did see one of the comments was like, you know, if that's the case, like, they wouldn't be taking their cut then for, like, the next whatever amount. Is that how it would work? I... Not that he knew, he said. Oh. Not that he knew. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's one of my Patreon folks. Yes. You know who you are. <laughs> yeah. It's just, and, and the episode closed out with Walt giving Jesse a gun saying, you asked me what you wanted me to do, I want you to handle it. Yeah. And it's like. Handle it. Does he want to handle Skinny Pete or does he want to handle the person that robbed him? That's, How's he going to find the person that robbed him? I mean, I'm. It's um, got to be Skinny Pete. Well, Skinny Pete knows the person because the, the lady bought the drugs from him. Okay. So I'm sure she's a regular. I in highly that doubt world. that he's gonna be like, let's go find the dude yeah. that robbed. He's you. gonna he's gonna take care of Skinny Pete, which is unfortunate because you know he's gonna scare him, or is he going to do something? Or something gonna happen? And nobody you know, wants to dispose of a body again. Yeah, and we we completely well we'll admit to this. We completely dropped the ball on the whole Hank thing in the elevator. We, you yeah. know, I'm not I'm not really I I can't speak from experience. I don't know a lot about panic attacks, so I, it didn't even cross my mind. Anxiety was, attacks. Yeah, those I am down, but I don't ever like hold my chest or anything. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I, like it didn't cross my mind. Like it immediately was like oh heart attack. Well, I figure yeah, you like, know he. You you know he's a little overweight he's stressed out he just had a crazy gunfight yeah man he just like, got a big promotion the first thing that would hit me would be a heart attack yeah that and it makes sense like the ptsd thing from his encounter with tuco the idea that he might have more of those with his new promotion in a more dangerous region is what it sounds like um so yeah like we we totally you know, we, we missed it. We, it happens. We don't know everything, obviously. And we like that you guys correct us because we want to know if we got something wrong. And, you know, panic attacks are a very serious thing. And, yes. You know, just... Panic attacks, anxiety don't, attacks, don't wanna, heart attacks. Don't want to overlook all, all, any of that stuff. It just immediately just thought he was having a heart attack. And, you know, he wants to put on that tough guy face and, and portray himself as the tough guy. And he's probably not going to get help. He's not going to tell anyone. Because no. I also saw a comment to where... I don't know how true it is, but if he brought attention to this, he might get pulled from the job. Oh, 100%. So, yeah. Oh, you can't physically, you know, maintain yeah. this? So it makes oh, sense. No. It's a, it, it, I, I get where he's coming from, but at the same time, it's like, ugh, that's tough. That's a, he's in a really tough spot now because he's trying to distract himself. Things aren't going good at home. Like, things aren't, like, his wife's not happy being in El Paso. Um, she's more focused on being in DC 
So, yeah. I don't know. A whole bunch of craziness going down. You ready to jump into this episode? Mm -hmm. Let's go, yo. Uh-oh. What up? Got something for me? Yeah, yeah, I found him. Jesus, how the hell do you spell street wrong? S-T-R-E-A-T? -E I'm slinging mad volume and fat stacking Benjis, you know what I'm saying? I can't be all about, like, spelling and shit. Hey. <laughs> Him, they call Spooch. Let me get this straight. You got jacked by a guy named Spooch. <laughs> Yo, what's his name matter? Hey, okay, so they're not gonna get Skinny yeah. Pete. Hey, did I say that? Is he gonna do it? Yeah, you got to take care of the people who robbed you because that's the word that could spread around town. It's like, oh, I just jacked this dude. Oh, no true. problem. Sorry, I didn't think about it. But I mean, it goes both ways. I don't ways. know better, though. Definitely goes both ways. And he is stressing out. This is not who he is. No, he's really, really not. Damn it, Jesse. Damn it. You want to be Tuco, you got to handle shit like Tuco. I guess. Right? Yeah. I had it all wrong. I can't possibly see this ending well for him. No. This is not who he is. This is not his style. This is doesn't fit anything up to his character that he, you know, he's not a tough guy. No, he's really, really not. That's like, not what he's... He just wants to chill and yeah. live his life. I mean, I know looks are very deceiving, but he... He also is, you know, he doesn't look like a scary person. <laughs> he doesn't. He, I mean, just looks like a little kid. Where's my money, bitch? Yeah. Where's my money? Where's my... Where's my money, bitch? Rehearsing is never a good thing. Where's my money, bitch? Where's my money, bitch? Bitch, where's my money? Come on. Fine. Just kick the door, I guess. Do not mess with me, I will it's bury you because I'm crazy. Or Do not test me. Oh, uh, put it away. Thank you. Shit. Honey, you block in the mailbox. Like it's gonna be a nice day, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, high 70s. <laughs> Have a great day. See, he's so nice. He's not like, bitch, get out of here. Oh, all right. Well, that. There's that. Please tell me he's in the... Well, I mean, it looks like they're in the right house, but I'm just saying. I'm Hello. nervous about this. Uh, this doesn't feel right. No, I think he needs to leave. Ew, don't do that. He's, like, touching all this stuff. Don't sit down. He's just gonna wait for them to show up. It's gonna be like a little old lady or something. Or a child? Is that a kid? Oh, baby, no. What the fuck? I don't like. Oh, come on, man. Please call uh, child services. Please. Anything's gotta be better than living in this. What's your name? My name's, uh, Diesel. <laughs> that just kills me. This poor baby. I'm hungry. Oh, jeez. That's rough. Hi, Walt and Skylar. This is Gretchen Schwartz calling to say hello. I'm just hoping that everything's okay. Tell me if you can. Oh, boy. Kidding. Walt is actually at work today. It's his first day back at work, and uh, he lost his cell phone. She's gonna start asking questions. I you know. I'm terrified. I um, begin to thank you and Elliot for what you've done. The money for Walt's treatment. Shit. It saved us. George, all of us. Is she gonna play it cool? So I, just, I don't know, man. I hope we get to see you soon. Yikes. Truly, um. Anytime you're in town, anytime at all. How about this afternoon? Oh shit. Okay. Oh shit. Yikes. Oh man. 
carbon is at the center of it all. Everything that lives, lived, will live carbon. Sorry, is this in principle carbon? Did you, uh, no. I like to think that the diamond and the woman who wears it on her finger are both formed from the same stuff. The man who invented the diamond, H. Tracy Hall, write this name down. Dr. Hall worked for General Electric. He made them a fortune. You want to know how GE rewarded Dr. Hall? Uh-oh. A $10 US savings bond. Awkward. I know. Anyway. <laughs> what was that all about? Yeah. And then there's the hair thing. I actually like that. Oh. That's a great look for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to be back at work. Yeah. It's good. It's great. Please feel comfortable coming to me with any problems, anything at all. You know, completely confidential. What? Hey. This is about his episode, or...? Is she hitting on him? Are you Jeffrey? No, I don't think she's hitting on... Well, I mean, I don't know. You, I mean, you never know, but... I think that... She liked his hair. Come to me confidential. What? That. Oh. Uh. That is what she's uh, talking about, his episode. Okay. I was hoping Walt was getting some attention. I don't think so. Now he's turning into a babysitter. Would you leave? No, I would call CPS. I would call the police. I would do something. I mean, from a payphone somewhere, but... Shit. That poor baby. <laughs> Don't leave them with those people. They have a lock on the outside of the door. Bastards. Yikes. You shut up. Shut up! Stop! Stop! Ah! Get up! My heart how just stopped you, for a minute there. Oh my god. I mean, how do you take whatever money from them? I know. Well, be, they, they're addicts, though. I mean, they weren't going to use it for the child. They're clearly not using it for the child, but still, like, ugh. That's awful situation. You idea them. You and I put a bag over their heads, drive them way out into the desert, strip them naked, and bury them up to their necks huge mound of fire ants. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Scorpions? Oh, a little father-son banter back and forth about killing people. Great. No, it's just torture. Mm. Just torturing them for making fun of him. Oh, shitballs. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Skylar's gonna fucking lose her shit. Oh my god. Thank you so much for what you've done for my dad. It was a really good thing. You're very welcome. Oh. Oh, okay. Whew, we're gonna find a way to repay you. I really need to get going. Okay, well, it's good that it sounds like she understands what's going on on Walt's side. I should walk her to her car. I'll be right back. Why? I know, why, why didn't you do that? We need to talk. Can you not do or say anything to anyone until then? Please. Please. Yikes. We shot it off. Yeah, it shot an ounce in a day and a half. Yeah. Pull it out of your butts? Or I go grab a flashlight and some pliers and go exploring. What's it gonna be, yo? Come on! Oh, ew, dude. I don't want it anymore. You know what? Go ahead and keep it. On the go table. Come here, baby. Oh. 
We got your money, man, plus interest. Backyard. I don't, uh, I can't handle the kid stuff, as you know. As you know. Help me break it open. Take out the money, get paid. Oh my God. It's a victimless crime. In, out, like bam. Man, smooth as silk, y'all. What, nobody saw you? What about witnesses, dumbass? Nobody noticed. For real. <laughs> I'm telling you. Victimless crime. Shit. Um. Oh, Jesus! Come on already! Dude. God, it's about to give, man. I'm sensing it. It's not like you ever got one open. At least I got <laughs> persistence. Meanwhile, there's a small child. The kid! The little kid! What are you asking me for? Oh my god. Please take this baby away from this madness. Please tell me why you did it. That's not really an issue here. How are you paying for it? This, this is not an issue that concerns you, Gretchen, okay? It does concern me. It concerns me greatly. I will explain the whole thing to them. And while you're at it, explain it to me. Yeah, she wants to know too. Yeah. I don't owe you an explanation. I Dang. owe you an apology, and I have apologized. I am very sorry, Gretchen. Without our knowledge. Against our will, you involve us in your lie, and you sit here and tell me that that is none of my business. Yeah, it is her business. Sorry, Walt. Yeah. This isn't you. He became Heisenberg. What would you know about me? Oh boy, they're getting personal now. Presumption about me. Don't get all crazy. I know. Come on, man. Don't be burning any bridges. How you and Elliot cut me out. What? Oh boy. I can't be how you see it. It's my hard work, my research, and you and Elliot make millions off it. You left me. You walked away. You, you abandoned us. Me, Elliot. You rich girl just adding to your millions. Damn, dude. This is awkward. He is angry. You. Damn, man. He's real mad. How long has he been holding that stuff in for? Apparently years. Oh my god. I don't know if Walt should be pissing her off though like that. She holds a very, very important piece of information. Yeah. That could really screw his life up even more. Yeah. Peekaboo. He doesn't even speak, poor thing. Ah, <coughs> oh, shit. No, you bitch. Oh, my God. How are you not paying more attention when you're there? Jeez. Yikes. Jesse's not cut out for that kind of stuff. No, he is not. <sighs> Gretchen called about an hour ago. Oh, shit. Shit. What did she say? They're cutting off the money. <laughs> she said, I'm sorry, but Elliot and I can no longer continue to pay for this treatment. I wish you she figured out her way out of the lie. Shit. <laughs> she and I had a perfectly nice visit this afternoon, and then you come home, and all of a sudden she's in a big hurry to leave, and then the two of you are talking in the driveway. What do you know that I don't? A lot. There's a few things. <laughs> I was with Gretchen. Well... Gretchen and Elliot. She just couldn't bring herself to tell you today, in, in my opinion. 
You didn't have to maintain another lie. Like, come on. They're broke. She's still cruising in a Bentley, dude. I know, right? <laughs> Jesus, that's... <laughs> she bought it. I mean, like, how are you not supposed to I, buy that? I, I mean, know. I don't know. Just the fact that he's been lying about everything. And she's been catching on to the other stuff. Look, he's, like, he's excited. So he's he's so like, yes, I did it. He's I so did proud it. of himself. She still drives a Bentley. <laughs> she's going to... She's... I don't think she buys it. I think it's starting to, like, click in her head. Like, it's starting to, like... I am in the middle of very important work. I am on the verge here. All right, so set your skank ass pie hole and assist me. You listen to me, skank? Huh? You hear this me, shit going to fall on his head. You are a skank. She's going to do it. She's going to do it. She's going to do it. What the fuck, dude? Seriously? Just for a little hit? Because he was calling you a skank? Please call the cops on this bitch. Take the kid out of there or something. Oh, oh fuck yeah, shit. man. <laughs> what? Please take the baby, take the baby, take the baby, take the baby. Good, he called the cops. Jeez. Oh, hey, you remember where peek a -boo? Huh? Can you go peek a -boo with this? Huh? Can you keep your eyes closed? You wait right here and just don't go back inside. All right? You stay right here. Okay? This poor kid. I don't like this at all. You have a good rest of your life, kid. Thank you for calling the police, Jesse. Oh my God. Ah, oh, jeez. That was another really, really uncomfortable episode. I don't, um... I mean, you I mean, said they really it. get, they have that kid in there for that whole, like, feel sorry for us aspect, but, yeah, like, those, you're a horrible person both aspect. Those people, those people are both terrible people. But, like you said during the show, any place, more than likely, especially once the cops find the kid, is going to be better than what he was living in. I mean, disgusting. Just disgusting. Just, just the idea that that exists is just. But it, a, I mean, and it's a true. Horrifying. There are thought. children out there right now. I don't want to think about that. Yeah. Well, at least in the long run, at the end, Jesse did the right thing for the most part. And call the police. Yeah. So. Wow, that was. That was a rough one. It was like the whole time just like, oh, is Walt going to get caught? Is Jesse going to get caught? Is Jesse going to get out of there? Is what's going to happen with Gretchen and Walt? Like, It's all shit. It's just a whole bunch it's of just shit. keeps building. It just keeps building. And I don't think Skylar believes him. Well, but once, she did for a second. Right, once it clicked. But then it's like, but she still drives yeah, gently. Right. That. And with the way their relationship is right now, she has so little trust in what's going on with him. It probably didn't take a lot for that kind of switch to get flipped and be like, wait, they're broke, but she's still driving around this ridiculously expensive vehicle. Well, you could have mm. purchased the vehicle before you went broke. Right, but if I you're mean, broke, wouldn't you sell the car? It depends on how much you're willing to admit that you're broke. Right. I mean, you could downgrade a little bit. You could still get a really nice car that's not a Bentley. <laughs> how much how much debt you gonna pay yeah. off with that though i don't know yeah i a mean used car again yeah i mean that was my one of my first thoughts is like wait but she's still driving around in a bentley like i don't know, I know. You, you find ways around that if you're really that worried about your public image which again that was bullshit from him like yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. so yeah it's just 
it's just a long string of just continuous lies that he keeps telling. And then Skylar's just like, hmm, fuck you, you're a liar. Yeah. I mean, I can only imagine what she's going to like, you know, if what if she thinks about this some more and then it's like, I don't believe you. I, I thought she and was going to... And then gonna... like call... Well, I mean, she can't call Gretchen anymore because Gretchen won't answer the phone. Right. I thought she was going to go down the cheating line with, with the two of them. Oh, right. Because she was like, where were you tonight? Where were you? Like, oh, you went to Santa Fe? Like... And then he, like, randomly at the last minute was like, oh, and... And Elliot. Yeah. And Elliot yeah. was there. Yeah. So it was like... I think she's going to start thinking that that's that's the cheating partner. Because that, that, what else could she possibly be thinking that he's doing? I mean, that would be my first assumption. Why are you acting weird? Why is yeah. she acting weird? But then again, if you're also cheating with that person's husband, why would you go hang out at their house? Well, yeah. I mean, who knows? Something kind of popped into my head while watching this episode is, like, this whole idea that, like, so you got Walter, you got Eisenberg, like... Does he realize when he's becoming like this super like I'm standing up for myself crazy tough, tough guy? guy? Yeah. Like, is it like something that he's controlling? Is he purposely coming out and being like, no, fuck you, like I you think... ruined my life, you stole my business and all my ideas? Like, it's like the the lines are starting to gray a little bit. It's not so... <laughs> gray matter. Ah, I got you. I see what you did there. It's not really like that clear cut very much. Um because it's like I feel like he can just like subtly put it in there like yeah. when he was playing around with his son like, well, like oh, even we with the teacher just go put a bag over there and blah 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 but what about the teacher in the middle of class while he's teaching his lecture that too like, that too he's just like oh there's yeah and you know how they repaid him a ten dollar <laughs> savings bond it's like is he is he in control of this at this moment is like just something that kind of just like popped into my head I'm like did did something just like him seeing the, the the assistant principal like trigger this in his head, he just went to like asshole mode. Was like the idea of these kids playing a prank on him and talking to his son just trigger this in his head and be like, no, you know what? Let's just bury their asses in the desert. <laughs> it's yeah, like what? Right? Like, um, dad, what? And then like the moment at dinner where he was like, where where she basically was like, no, you owe me an explanation. Did that trigger the idea of him like, just being I don't like, owe you shit, just biatch. yeah. <laughs> Like, is, is he in control of this, or is he just, like, in a I-just-don't-give-a-fuck, like, type of mentality at this moment with Well, things? yeah, some, some, yeah, he just, he's had enough to a certain point with things that get said or done, and then that's when he flips, and it's like, fuck it. Yeah, it all started, care. it all started with blowing up the car. Well, that, yeah, that douchebag. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's very interesting that he's got these, like dual things going on now with his personality to where he's normal happy regular walt guy and then he's got eisenberg walt who's guy. <laughs> who's just like super defending and like going to stand up for himself and just call you out and just not give two bucks about it it is so entertaining to see it like flip because it, it it happens like mid conversation yes literally <laughs> like you can see like the look in his eye or like the expression on his face and you're just like Oh, he's getting angry. He's pissed. Like, he's oh, he's pissed. mad. He's real mad. I like when you say he's real mad. Like, he's oh. real mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's he just a, like the real part. <laughs> it's a it's a really interesting kind of dynamic to watch. Just now that like he's getting so comfortable with these lies now too. They just where it's just like they're just coming out no problem, and his wife is just like, "You are an idiot." Yeah. Like seriously. And she, you just see it written all over her face that he, like, once, like, she did believe him, it felt like, for a second. Yeah, and then they're it, like, oh, yeah, we're totally going to get yeah. through this together. Yeah. And then it's like, wait, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, and it's just written all over her face. Like, my husband is a lying, cheating bastard is probably what she's thinking. Possibly. Ugh, I mean, that's where my, yeah. my mind would go if you just spent But you wouldn't immediately think that I was going out and cooking meth? You wouldn't think that? Yeah. <laughs> no offense, but we're not smart enough for that. Yeah, I mean... Or we're not dumb enough for that. That's what you think. Oh, please. But yeah, it's really interesting just seeing all of this play out. Because, like, Walt was, like, real proud of himself there for a minute. And, like, he thinks he's doing a really good job with this lie. But he talks too much. He just... He talks too much. Keeps carrying That's on. That's how you know a yeah. bad liar. They talk way too yeah. much. And, and Skyler's just like, I'm reading through all your bullshit. He's going to get caught soon. 
something's gonna happen. Like, again, another moment where it would have been really easy for him to get caught up in everything that he's doing, but he finds a way to wiggle himself out of it. And now Gretchen basically got herself out of the lie by calling and saying, oh, we're cutting it off. Yeah, but now then it's like, now it's gonna make Skylar like pay more attention. To so, the money situation? Like, yeah, yeah. He's Well, yeah, but again, it's better than her just being like, oh, hey, by the, wall, by the way, we haven't given you one cent for this. Yeah. That would have been like, way worse. I don't worse. know what you're talking about. Yeah. I think that would have been way worse. Wait, like, how did we pay for that whole round of treatment if they didn't give you a dollar? Like, I think... Please explain. Yeah, that would have been a lot worse. The way, the way she handled it was actually really nice and, like, really cool of her. Yeah, that was... I don't think I would have been... That nice. Yeah, she could have totally thrown Walt under the bus immediately, especially after the fuck you part. Like, so. It's getting real crazy. Real tense. It's just, I, I it's going to explode the, at some point. I, I don't think I would have called and, like, followed up. I would have just stopped taking Skylar's calls. You know. Yeah, but it, it just puts her in the moment. Just be like, this is over. Don't call me again. It, like, it just completely eliminates the situation now because yeah. they were even like oh let's hang out let's do this let's do that like that kind of just puts like a on it like yeah. done no more so any other thoughts no nope. all right y'all leave them comments below we love hearing from you you got anything for them today is there a peekaboo emoji i peekaboo. doubt peekaboo. it peekaboo you can put a little baby baby oh emoji. no i want yeah i need a baby face in a police car Baby face in a police car emoji. You heard the Jesus you heard the Christ. woman. You heard the woman. Baby face in a in a police car emoji. Is there an ATM? Leave it in the in comments there? below. <laughs> there are ATMs, I think. In there. <laughs> Is there an ATM emoji? If you got one, throw it in there. Or write it out. Yeah. So yeah. Leave that for her. She loves seeing them. I do too. It's kind of fun. It is. So yeah, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we will catch you guys later. Rolling into 19. No problem. Let's go. See you later. Have a good one. I don't know what I'm saying. Bye.